Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to make sure that the mods you are using for The Witcher 3 are going to be compatible with each other and how you're going to merge them and how are you going to put them in correct order for the actual mod to be used. As you know there can be conflicts between mods and if you want to solve that problem you have to put them in the correct order. I'm not going to teach you how to download mods or where to put them, I'm just going to teach you how to make sure they're going to be compatible and how to merge them and how to use script manager. So you have your mods installed. What next? Next thing you want to download is script manager. I'll provide the link in description. And you'll want to download mod manager and on top of these two files you also want to download Witcher 3 mod tools. Once you have these three, these three things installed you want to open your mod manager and first you will have this window and here you set up your a path. This is the path for the mod manager. You open and find where the executable file is. Here you have your uncooked, cooked and packed files. This is essentially before you merge a mod, it has to be uncooked. After it's merged and done, it's cooked and packed is where the final destination is. For this to work, you don't need to uh, know anything about this. Just set up a pad so you can use it afterwards. Here you can set up a name. You can also change it later and it has absolutely no effect on the actual compatibility and these are the settings that you can either adjust or just leave them default. After you've done this you can just click OK and you're done. And the first time you're gonna set up your mods they're gonna be named actually they're gonna be shown like this and if I set up a path right now there we go. Here we're gonna have all the mods for example that I'm gonna be using and if you compare this to the actual mods folder you're gonna see that there's a lot more here and not all of them are showing. The reason for that is that simply not all of them are mergeable. Excuse me that was my phone and because not all of them are mergeable you're simply not going to have them shown here so that's one problem solved. So the mods that are actually shown here also are not completely all mergeable. For example this mod this mod, this mod is not mergeable at all and you should never merge them under any condition. Other mods may seem like they are but in fact they are also not. So if you click here recommend it's gonna mark all the mods that don't have these words here and you click on conflicts you're gonna see that the mods are not mergeable just quite yet and if you click on these arrows you can see that they are conflicted between these different mods and of course how to solve this is to find a mod either Siri or MKM Siri Bodyfix and you actually have to disable the other mod and now the incompatibility is gone and you have to do that for each mod that is here and once you've done that you'll have no more conflict issues and you can simply click conflicts again and merge and your new mods will be merged but then, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So then, what do you do next? Well, next you'll go where your packed file uh, folder is, and you'll have this one folder that you simply drag and drop into your uh, Witcher 3 mods folder, and it's going to look like that. For example, this and this, because I merged like three of them already. Okay, but what do I do with the rest of the mods that I didn't merge? Well, you simply drag and drop them in here. But then, you will have to open Script Manager, and this is where the real fun begins. Now, all the mods, let's say, are compatible with each other. They all work great, and they have no problems running. And then you want to run Script Manager. And here is where you set up your order of the execution of mods. Now, as we saw before, there are incompatibilities between mods because best thing to explain that problem is if I just draw it to you. Let's say this is mod A 
this is mod B and this is mod C. So let's say when I merged my mods, mod A changes faces, it changes hair, it changes eyes. This is mod A. Mod B only changes hair. Let's say it also changes, I don't know, body. And mod C only changes eyes. Alright, so mod A, mod B, and mod C. Now this mod was merged. We'll just mark M. Okay, this mod was merged, so we got all of these things in the game. But we want to use hair from the mod A and body from the mod A, I mean B, and eyes from the mod C. Now these two mods are going to be conflicted between each other, and they're also going to be conflicted from mod A. And if you look here in the merged mods, let me find a mod like that. I think I have a mod that's conflicted three ways. Yeah, for example, this mod basically changes the pubes and uh, well you can see what it changes and basically this is from the merged mod this is mod A and this is mod B or mod C so in order for all of them to work together you need to prioritize what you want first so if one mod changes the same thing as the other let's say I want to use this hair and this eyes that means I have to merge this one so I have the default faces hair and eyes then I use mod B and on top of mod B, I use mod C. They're all going to be executed, but only one of them will actually have the effect. Because if I installed mod B first, and then mod A, I would actually get a hair from the mod B, but I would actually want the hair from the mod B to be actually in the game. Because if I installed mod B first, and then mod A, this hair will get overwritten. So by installing mod A first, and mod B second, I'll get this hair that I actually want. And basically that's what you have to do with all of the mods. If I show you another example, this is clouds. From the merged I have 4k clouds, actually I have uh, small and big clouds, basically clouds that are redone, but for the clouds here I want to use 4k. So I have 4k prioritized higher than the merged one. Another example is chimney smoke. I have better effects and I have alternative chimney smoke and I want to use alternative chimney smoke so I prioritize it over the better effects. And that's how you do it for every single one. And then besides this, you also have scripts. You'll have something like this. Everything will be read and you'll have these checkboxes. Basically these files edit the same script file and in order for this to work they all have to be in the game. It's not like here where you have a choice. They all have to work. So in order to do that you have to merge them. You simply mark this checkbox and click create for selected merges. And then you click OK, 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 OK. Now some of these files are going to be merged automatically. And others, like this one, won't. And you have to manually solve the conflicts. How do we do that? Well, first, you're going to have this window opened. If this window did not open for you, you I'll show you later how to enable it. Basically, this is where you see vanilla file mod A file and mod B file and now they change the same line and if we open all three of them you'll see that they have different functions so this is the vanilla one this is from the mod A and this is from the mod B now we see the vanilla one and mod B are the same and in mod C it's just a comment so we don't need mod C and since we don't care about the comment we can just use the vanilla one and then here on the sidebar you can see all the conflicts if it's green it's solved and if it's red like this then we have to solve it and this one is solved so we can just click X save and quit and we're done no more conflicts and as I said if that program does not open for you then just click on options merging and show file paths in KD IFF3 and once that is done and everything is in the order you want as well as on this side you are done you can run your game and it should load and there are two things to remember if the game does not load at all, or it loads but it stays in, if you open task manager and you see the game being stuck here and not actually running, then you, then you need to uh, 
merge more mods or delete them in case you already merged them enough. If the game loads but is in infinite loop, you need to do the same thing. You need to merge more mods or delete some. Because in any other scenario it won't work. That's the only way to get it working. And for the end, there's also a way to actually merge all of the official DLCs. I'll also give you the link in the description below on what to do. And basically each one of these 16 DLCs counts as a mod. And by merging them it basically reduces to one mod. So you will have 16 extra spaces for the mods. And that was it from this short tutorial. I hope it helped you. And if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the description below. And happy modding.